California Governor Gavin Newsom has elevated his profile in the Democratic Party lately. Moves like meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping, driving reports that he's eyeing a White House run in 2028. But concerns about Joe Biden's age and poll numbers have prompted speculation that Newsom could become a candidate even sooner. Iris Spitzer has more from San Francisco. California Governor Gavin Newsom was a big hit at the recent APEC summit in San Francisco, at least with one high-profile guest. He's been one hell of a governor, man. Matter of fact, he could do anything you want. He could have the job I'm looking for. Remember that we all have a lot Many believe the California governor has his eye on landing that job sooner rather than later. He's been described as running a shadow campaign. In October, Newsom traveled to China to meet President Xi Jinping to discuss cooperation on climate change and the fentanyl crisis. The next month, he debated Republican presidential hopeful Ron DeSantis. He's doing things that governors don't do, like going on foreign trips. He's met with the leaders of China and many other countries. He's positioned himself globally on climate issues, which many governors aren't doing. Joe Biden is already the oldest president in U.S. history at 81. If he were to face a health issue before the Democratic convention in August, it could be a major game changer, leaving the door open to another Democrat. It will give everyone pause. That would elevate uh, speculation around whether uh, the vice president would step in. Uh, what's the role of someone like Gavin Newsom? Uh, are they ready? Can they be on the national stage? Whether the American public would be ready is another question. For the past five years, Gavin Newsom has been in charge here in California, the U.S. state with the most people and the largest economy by far. However, trying to take that act to an even bigger stage is not without its challenges. One challenge is that his home state is often used by Republicans to highlight what they call failed left-wing policies, pointing to issues like homelessness and crime. So if you're on the other side, if you're on Fox News or you're on the Republican side, the Trump side, you're licking your chops to take this guy on because you think that the visuals of what's going on in San Francisco or what's going on in Los Angeles or Los Angeles County, you think you can use that uh, as important kind of motivators to block this governor. But at 56 years old, he's two decades younger than Biden and Donald Trump, and he's shown a willingness to trade punches with Republicans. He is striving for attention. He wants to be in the face of Republicans and put them on their heels in the way they've put Democrats on their heels for many years. He thinks the National Party has been tragically ineffective in doing that, pushing back on issues of freedom and liberty, uh, abortion rights, and some of the things that are very popular with the American public. Mother Nature plays. A lot would have to happen in the next couple months for Newsom to actually be a factor in this election. But whatever happens, he's hoping to stay front and center for the Democratic Party. Iris Fetzer, CNA, San Francisco.